This is Jeannie from Metal Dollhouse Rescue. Now, you might recall if you saw my most recent video, I recently visited the Brass Armadillo here in Des Moines, Iowa, and I bought two houses, and this is one of them. And before I take this up to my workshop, I thought we'd take a little bit closer look at the house and at the furniture. Now, this furniture came with this house. It is not original to this house because this house would have come with um, 124 size and this is 116 or 118 it's a little bit bigger furniture although it really it fits in there nice it's not what would have come originally but this furniture is in pretty nice condition now let's take a little bit closer look at the furniture this is what I had in the living room now this is um, this piece is unmarked but it's got a little drawer that opens and this is a little radio that was sitting on top of it this drawer here will open. It's not marked. The rest of this is marked Plasco, with the exception of this piece on the end, and this pretty hutch is marked Ideal. But it's really nice shape. It's nice and shiny, very little wear. There's no breaks on any of these. Look, the clock face is there. You just don't see that very often. This is a little uh, TV radio, and it's the kind that's got that paper dial in there. Now, that paper is kind of poked back. It should be brought forward, and then it should stick out this side. Now, I've not repaired one of these, but, you know, I'll probably give it a try and see if I can get that paper brought forward and, and where it's supposed to be so it could be, you know, kind of played with. Anyway, really like the living room stuff. Here's what was in the kitchen. Again, this is all marked Plasco, and it's all in excellent condition. Shiny, clean. There's three red chairs, table, and then the appliances. This uh, has had a repair here on the leg, but it's a nice repair, and the table's nice and sturdy. Anyway, very, very nice kitchen items. Here's the pieces I had in the garage. Again, these are both Plasco. This one's like mint condition. What a pretty chair. This one has got a leg gone, but probably easily fixed or propped up. And then a part of a vacuum cleaner, which is marked ideal. These are the pieces I had in the bedroom, and then here are the, are the pieces from the bathroom. These are all, let's see, this one's marked Renwall. The drawer is open. These are Plasco. This is Plasco. This and this are not marked, but they seem to match the Plasco bathtub. And this is marked Plasco also. So I presume that's a matching Plasco set. Although this pink's a little different color, it does match this, and this is marked Plasco. Excellent condition. The uh, stool cover and the ring are there. They do lift off. They don't have the little pegs anymore. But they are there, so that's very, very nice. This is the furniture I had in the nursery. A Renoir sewing machine, I believe it's complete. The doors open and shut. Everything's just fine on it. A little Renoir dresser with drawers that open and shut. A little Renoir nightstand. A little crib that is not marked. This is kind of a softer plastic, but it's a really cute little crib. It's missing a knob up here in the corner. Um, very nice, those babies were included as well as that baby rattle. And then there's a little like stroller um, this is marked, it says Made in USA, and then I think it says, it was hard for me to read, My Old Eyes, I think it's A-O-N-A, -A, Made in USA, A-O-N-A. -A. Anyway, I'm not familiar with that maker, but it's a very cute item. So that's the furniture that came with this sweet house. We will be looking at this house another day. Eventually, I'll, I'll uh, probably take it apart. I'll fix that paint back there on the ceiling. Um, it's in pretty good shape. There's very little rust. It has... A couple of issues the back wall in this nursery is the Disney wall but the side wall is not and this wall is not and the floor is not so it's been apparently apart and then put back together pieced together by a previous owner and in this wall I showed you at the bar of Somerdillo it's got no graphics on this side or on the inside and I think that wall has been fabricated it's been very nicely fabricated because this has a little rolled edge on it but um, it's just been made out of I don't know, sheet metal or something to fill in there. So I think what I'll do with this house, uh, I'll take it apart, clean it, um, touch up the paint like up there in the ceiling. The rest of the paint's good. The roof is not in too bad a shape. I think it's going to clean up nice. I do have another house with a Disney nursery, so I think I'll put the pieces together and make one really nice house, 
with the, the pieces that I have. And then the other house would be um, kind of a put together of the leftovers house. And if I make one really nice house, that's the one I'll sell. And if, the, if I put one together just out of leftover pieces, that's the one I will probably keep. So this is the second house that I got at the Brass Armadillo. This furniture was all sold separately and came out of a different booth than the house. Now both of these houses came from the same booth, but all the furniture in this one was sold separately. The other house came with that furniture. But let's take a look at what we've got here for furniture. We'll look at these pieces first. This is all Mark Superior. It's the 124 scale. It's that little bit smaller scale. These two pieces are not marked. To me, they are the same quality, very similar to what Superior would be. So I don't know, it came in the same bag with the rest of that. Very well could be Superior, but it is not marked. Nice set, kind of unusual colors, very pretty. Now, all the furniture I've shown you so far, including these pieces here, were in a bag of furniture that I got for $10. So I was really, really pleased with this purchase. These two are not marked. They're that light plastic, kind of like might be superior. I don't know. These are marked superior. These are not marked, but they're typical of that superior light rubber, uh, same design, probably came with that stuff. To clarify, this piece is also not marked, but probably superior. This little piece is really cute. This is marked Made in Hong Kong, and then it has kind of a, a different trademark on it. It's got a kind of a fancy E in a circle. You probably can't see it. Uh, I'm not familiar with it. It's a harder plastic. I don't know if it's a kitchen cabinet. To me, it's almost a little smaller, like maybe, I guess it's the same height as that 124. But it almost, I could, I think it could almost be with Allied, I don't know. These next two, this one I can't read the trademark on it, but I do think it's Plasco, and it's just like that one I just showed you. But you can see the trademark on the back has got stuff on it, so you can't read it. But it's got that little wheel of paper in there that's pushed clear to the back. So we'll have to see if we can get that brought forward. And then this little uh, end table or nightstand is marked Plasco, and this is marked marks and this is kind of an unusual piece I think it's that kind of soft rubbery plastic and it's uh, the bigger scale the 116 scale more like that stuff here's the stuff I had in the kitchen a uh, little pink sink it's got a chip on the bottom I couldn't find a mark on either one of these they remind me of Plasco size and quality but I could not find a mark on them these two are marked Renoir. The refrigerator is not too bad. It's been cracked and glued, but it looks nice. The sink has got some uh, handles missing and the faucets are missing, but it's still a nice sink. No other damage to it. And a little red dresser or desk that has um, a chip off of the top and then a chip off of the, the bottom there too. So that was the furniture so far that I showed you that came in a bag for $10. These little three little pieces I bought separately. I found each one in a different booth at Brass Armadillo. A little fuzzy dog. I think he's so cute. He was $5. A little mouse statue playing a violin. Um, she was $4. And a little uh, piano or organ. Probably piano. And it's really a salt and pepper shaker. And if you push on the keyboard, the salt and pepper pop up out of the back there. Those are salt and pepper shakers there. But I just thought that was cute and it was $5. Let's take one look at, one quick look at the um, house. You'll be seeing this again in the future. The only damages are there's a, a couple of scratches in here on the floor. The house needs clean, but it's not in bad shape otherwise. And on the other side of the roof, there's a spot where they, there's a little bit of paint gone on the shingles, not too bad. And then down here on the end, this just needs to be bent down into shape again. So you'll be seeing this as a future project. I don't think it'll be a very complicated one. Anyway, I'm in love with my purchases, and I'm glad you guys got to go along with me and, and see me do that shopping. The Brass Armadillo was a lot of fun. It's huge, and there's it's here in Des Moines, and I think there's another one in Omaha. So if you ever get a chance, check them out.